Welcome to my Reflex. This is my latest one, my third. I really like it. And I just wanted to go over the setup with you and show you a video of it flying at the end of it. I hope you find it useful. Uh, Dave Whitten came up with a great design. Anthony cuts them great. Uh, and I do my best not to crash them. And this, uh, I'm really happy with this one because so far it's uh, proved crash -worth, uh, proof for me. And here's the setup. And unlike my little speed demon over here with the uh, 2300 kV Cobra, this has a uh, 1550 kV Cobra and allows me to swing a 7x4 prop. I wanted to try something different. It's still 4S, but that motor is a 2217 1550 kV. Puts out 29 amps. I watt tested it uh, and amp tested it on a meter. So I've got this 40 amp uh, Luminaire, works great, stays really cool. The motor's warm when it come down, but not hot, hot. Can't cook an egg on it. Inside, got a Bonka 3000 uh, milliamp 4S battery. Goes to the EC. Uh, I've got a uh, ready-made RC 5 amp, 5-volt uh, S-Back. That powers the receiver and my servos. Okay, then uh, a pigtail off of the XD60 lead powers this LC filter, which powers the video transmitter to a Spec UAV SKU Planar Wheel Plus antenna, and then also the uh, cam up front, which is just an HS1177. Uh, Mounted next to it is a GoPro Sessions. Um, the receiver, excuse me, is an X6R uh, with telemetry. And over here on the side, let's see, it's already plugged in, is the Free Sky Voltage uh, telemetry setup. So I don't have an OSD, but this is a great feature because it can tell me uh, battery voltage in real time. And uh, I'm going to put the phone down real quick. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to come back and tell you. I'm going to show you how that works on uh, the terrain. All right, so she's plugged in, she's ready to go. Um, so the voltage setup works awesome. I have it uh, set up on this switch here. So if I move it down. 98 dB, 15.2 volts. So it's telling me the RSSI on the first call and then the second call was the voltage. And it repeats that every 20 seconds for me. Uh, nice feature during flights so you don't have to have the OSD. You don't have to guess your times. Um, I could turn that off by looking. 99 dB, 15.2 volts. 15.2 volts. I flew it, so it's not charged up yet. I could turn that off there. Uh, my dual rates are on this switch here. Uh, high rates, medium rates, and low rates. The video you're going to see at the end of this uh, video is done all in low rates until the very... Um, I take off in medium rates. I fly around low rates really fast, and then when I want to land and come in, I go to full rates. Or if I want to do some sick, uh, you know, rolls, uh, I'll put it to high rates. And here are the throws that you'll see when this thing flies. This is low rates now. That's full down and full up. That's low rate. Medium rate, full up, full down, high rate. Okay, give you an idea of the surface uh, deflection. Let me do that again. High rate, low rate. Oh, excuse me, high rate, medium rate, and low rate. So that's that. Um, I also have a throttle cut switch right now. So right now, um, this thing won't go. It's even though it's plugged in, programmed in that on the throttle. And that throttle is armed by this switch here. Engine on. And then now she could go. There you go. And then when I hit the throttle cut switch. Engine off. Uh, it just, it kills the throttle. So if you actually, someone grabs that or you drop it, it doesn't actually uh, turn on. Good safety feature. Do that. Uh, that's the setup. And here's a video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.